Hello, today I'm going to talk to you about printing things from Canva. I think it's called Canva print or something like that. Anyway, um, you guys know I've made a heap of videos about Canva over time. It's a tool I've used a lot um, lately for the last few years and I've been making videos on how to change your filters, how to get your logo and brand colors up and lots of different things. So if you're interested in that, there's a playlist called Canva. It's got lots of tips. Um, so Canva actually got in touch with me and said, oh, thanks for making videos about us. And um, we're currently promoting our Canva print process that they have. And if we gave you a voucher, would you make a video about making print, like printing things with our service? And I was like, sure. And so they sent me a hundred dollar voucher which felt very fancy. It's like, what am I going to do? And um, I thought, right, I'm going to make like 10 designs and get 10 of each and I'll be able to really maximize um, the use of my um, voucher. Um, but I didn't get to do that. So I'll talk about that while I do the screen share. So what I'll do is just go over to screen share and show you what I designed and what happened. So I actually started, hopefully you guys can see the screen, yes. I actually started with this one um, and I chose a template by clicking more and I thought, hmm, what I really want is something like a postcard. Um, and they actually don't have postcard as an option anymore. Um, they have gift certificate and label. And I can't remember what I chose. Oh, I chose gift certificate because I thought, that's what I want to make. I, I want a postcard, really, but they didn't have it. So I chose gift certificate and I made this. And then when I went to print it, um, so I just did that by, so I designed, this is the front, special gift just for you, although that's not what it ended up saying. And so this was just a rough sketch. And then when I went to print it, um, it said I had to choose, so this is it, you make a design and then you have to choose what size you print. So there's a few different options, business card, postcard, flyer, poster, letterhead, invitation. So I chose postcard and then it automatically resized my design into postcard. And then that's what I ended up working with. So this is the final um, image and how it looked to me on the screen when I created it. Uh, and the back looks like this. So then I went through the print process, which is really straightforward, I have to say, um, because printing can be a bit of a debacle with like bleed lines and all these complications. So um, I just went through this process of checking, oh yeah, what's all this mean? So um, I chose, yes, I want a double-sided. Oh, the other thing I was gonna mention that I couldn't do, that I wanted to do was I actually had all these other pages of this document. because I wanted to make two different things, I wanted to make one postcard that was really specific for um maybe that's still over here yeah so i made this other one and when i went to print it it would only it sort of shaded out these two designs and i was only allowed to print the top two designs and i don't think that was because of my voucher i think they maybe just let you do the front and the back unless it's what else is there a flyer but a flyer is a trifold a4 um, what else is there? Poster, letterheads. Yeah, so I'm guessing you're only allowed to print two pictures at a time. So you can't kind of make a long list of designs and then have them printed. You just use the front and back, which isn't so bad. I just thought I'd really lucked out and I was going to be able to have a couple of different options, which is fine. I'm, I'm actually... I was just beside myself excited when it arrived because who doesn't love mail? And when I saw them, I'm just really, really happy with the quality. Um, I'll gush on about that later. So I just went through like all the options. Okay, this size, double-sided. I ended up choosing, I might have chosen deluxe paper just because I was like, I got a free voucher, what do I care? I chose matte finish because um, I ended up writing, probably can't see because I'm probably a bit tiny with the screen share. I wanted to write on the card. Oh my God, I was holding it upside down. And it says easy to write on. And there's also uncoated, perfect for writing on. But I want it to be a bit durable. So I ended up going with the matte finish, easy to write on. And I agree. I just used um, a Kiki K, just a ballpoint pen. I can't really see it very well. But this is a normal kind of pen and it worked well it didn't smudge at all I also used highlighter 
my pink highlighter on it and it worked. It didn't smudge at all, so I was really happy with that. And then you choose your copies and they've got a lot of variations for copies tells you how much it's going to cost. So I was really happy with that. I could maximize my um, voucher and the shipping was really reasonable. I thought, um, okay, where am I? So I just went through that wizard and then I went begin order, get all the images and I just, they're all, so they check the quality before they'll let you order it. Like if you're trying to print something and it looks rubbish quality, obviously at this point it will say the resolution's no good, it won't look any good. Now it's got this really cool remove any white edges and this was helpful for me because mine was actually a bit like this and it wasn't quite, see, and it says we've detected that parts of your bleed area might not be covered by design. So there's two factors here is that, you want to make sure everything that's coloured or photographic is outside of the big um, dotted line on the outside. And then you've got to make sure any critical information is inside this line. So I thought that was, you know, that made it pretty easy. It actually explains why it's important really nice and clearly. So that's the danger zone, but it's inside this dotted line. I mean, to me, you just follow the steps and it just tells you what to do. Then it sent me a PDF of my design, which we can probably find probably in my downloads. Let's have a look. So what did they send me? Here it is. So I'll open that and I'll screen share it with you. And then you can see what they sent me. So sent me a PDF. That's my design. Um, they said to me, don't worry about the watermarks. This is just really to check that you've got stuff inside the danger zone and the, there's no white patches. Just sometimes as well, do you notice when you double check something, you see some mistake that you didn't see before. So that was really good. I checked that and then back to the cart process. And then, um, so you have to click this button then you have to click this button and then you continue to check out, which I won't, do oh, I suppose I could not a big deal. I'm oh, not going to see all my details, so it's not too bad. Then you just click continue and off you go. So I found the checkout process really easy, and you know, generally, I find the Canva design process pretty easy. I actually just used one of these layouts from the side here um, because I like the font, change the picture, change the words. Um, I think this box I rearranged a bunch, and the thing with these layouts is if there's a curly corner. It means that there's multiple options. So um, there's a front and a back. So, you know, if you're like, oh, I like that, you could just use the back as well. Makes it really easy to design. I love the layouts. So then the parcel came and it was really exciting. It's in just a little box and it came really quickly. Like, I think I did it on Saturday and today's Tuesday. I love that. So then I was going to save the unboxing for the video, but honestly, I was just too excited. I couldn't wait. But so open it up and there's like, oops, there's a little thank you note, which just is really cute. I won't read it. It'll take too long. But it's really pretty and, you know, it's a design team. So I really like this and there's a little bit of nest there. And then I got them, I've actually opened them and used a heap, so I can't show you exactly how it was because I was just too excited. So it's just really beautiful. You push this and it slides out. And they can, they came wrapped in this, um, in plastic, in like a block. So I got two bricks like this for $100. And here they are, I'm so happy with them. Um, to me, Jason, my, my partner just said to me, oh, do you think it's true to how it looked on the screen? And I don't know how it's coming up in the video, but for me, it does just look exactly like what I made <laughs> backwards. So I'm super happy with it. I'm really like, it's bad. I've been playing with these all day instead of doing, writing my blog because why would you write a blog when you can play with pretty things? And then a bit further down in the nest, which I thought was really nice. I was like, oh, what else? Um, there's the nest, which is all just looks like nice, you know, ethical packaging. They also sent me this really cute little <laughs> um, packet of, it just says, thank you. Here's a pack of 10 greeting cards as a gift from us to thank you 
for using Canva to create and print your designs. And like, it's really nice paper. It feels like really good quality paper. And I got a sticker, two stickers. And they gave me these little really cute um, package of greeting cards. So there's some little envelopes. Oops, can't see them. Come on. There's just a little packet of envelopes. And then these 10 really cute little greeting cards, which is really fun. Who can't do with a little greeting card? So it's a really nice kind of bonus that, again, you know, it feels ethical and it feels like good quality cardboard. It's bath time, so you can hear my whole family. And it's got the artist attribute down the bottom. So I really liked it. Thank you, Canva. I had fun. Okay. Sorry about that. I just had to pause it because it's bath time. Everyone's going to be yokel. Um, so I had heaps of fun. Massive thank you to Canva for sending me a voucher and giving me the opportunity to do that. And I think overall, like, there was a couple of things that kind of irked me about it, but overall, the print quality is beautiful. The paper feels amazing. It was super quick. Um, yeah, I'm, like, overall pretty happy with it. If you just had something small that you could do a small print run to test it, that might be the go. But... I guess, you know, for printing, what are the options like Vistaprint, a local printer or Canva are doing it. So it might be worth checking out if that's something you're interested in. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.